Hello there. I have um got something here. In the box in mint condition. Sears cassette recorder. It's quite something. I got it from an estate sale. In the box, although it has been used. Let's open this up. Let's see what we've got. Oh, why we've got a tape recorder. How about that? It even had an old Maxell tape, which had has some recordings on it that were made with that with that machine back in the day, and I've also recorded some recordings on it myself. Has the operator's manual. Even got a section on cleaning the heads. And it's got this little sticker here. Not sticker, but little tag. Look at that retro cassette. Yeah, how about that? It's too blurry to read. I'm pretty, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. But I don't know. Of course, you have to press record and play at the same time. Um, I'm recording with the Sears cassette recorder model 612158, and it is DC bias again. Always finding DC bias over and over. Let's watch this rewind. DC bias. Yep, the functions work. I put, even though the original belt that runs Rewind and Fast Forward was um, okay when I got it, I went ahead and replaced it with a rubber band because these this style of transports used in this has a certain size belt that just is like a good size that fits many other tape recorders. Of course, you have to press record and play at the same time. Um, I'm recording with the Sears. Cassette recorder model 612158, and it is DC bias again. Always finding DC bias over and over. Um, went ahead and stopped the camera because I'm tired of taking twice as long to show something that's recording. I hate making long videos on YouTube because it bugs me. I'm now using an external microphone. It did not come with this external mic. I already had this external mic. If you want to know where this ex what this external mic originally did come with, it came with the Passport Passport R215 cassette recorder, but it has the right mic and remote spacing for this one. Yeah, on-off switch works. This one actually record. Let's see how it recorded off the radio through the attenuation cable. And now let's travel back in time and hear a song that was recorded with this machine probably back when it was first bought through a radio speaker playing and picked up by its internal microphone, I presume. It's a pretty catchy song that was recorded. <laughs>
Now, WMG is going to pick it up and delete the audio in this video.